In this video, I will be discussing transition metals and their chemistry, and this is going to be part three of this topic. Okay, so I have been discussing basically the general, uh, general chemistry, uh, chemical properties of tra transition metals. And in part two, basically, I looked at the example of vanadium um, in seeing the color changes associated with changing oxidation numbers. Okay, and in this part three, I will be discussing um, ligand exchange and the entropy. Okay, so uh, ligand when ligand exchange occurs, not only does it accompany color change, it can accompany the entropy change as well. So the resulting complex ions could have different entropy values. So it could be more stable or a little more unstable than the other uh, complex ions. So let's dive in. So first of all, why is ligand exchange often associated with color change? Um, so we have learned that when ligands bind, orbitals split into two different energy levels, higher and lower, causing electron transfers when light is absorbed. And then you would see the complementary colors, right? Um, if you don't remember this, uh, please go to part one, transition metal chemistry, um, and go to basically it's around the end of the video. Okay. And so um, the gap between the two energy levels, the higher and lower, is going to be different for different ligands. Therefore, the different uh, wavelength of, uh, wavelengths of light is going to be absorbed for different complexes. Okay, so um, in this example, I have the copper ion, a uh, copper two plus ion. So if we have an aqueous solution of copper two plus ions, it's going to form um, ligands Ligand, it's going to form a complex ion surrounded by water ligands, first of all, right? Because it's aqueous and that solution is going to look blue. The color of that solution is going to be blue because of the complex ions in there. Um, so we're basically adding hydrochloric acid into copper sulfate aqueous solution. So copper sulfate aqueous, this contains the Cu2 plus ions surrounded by water ligands. So this exists inside this solution okay um, and when we add the hydrochloric acid basically uh, we are going to see um, the yellow solution forming because ligand exchange has been occurring so the water ligands are going to be replaced by the chloride ions and we will be forming this tetrachloro-cuprate complex and this complex is yellow, and therefore the solution is going to be yellow with this complex in it. And as you can see, the water ligands have been removed, right? So um, notice that there is a reversible sign. So this is an equilibrium. This is not just a, an equation that just goes to completion right away. So you're going to, uh, because this is a, a, an equilibrium, the color change is going to be gradual from blue to green to yellow, okay? And I have a different example. So in over here, I will be discussing basically the entropy changes that occur. Uh, over here, we have the copper two plus ion. This time, not just an aqueous solution, but we are putting that into, um, where basically we have added ammonia solution to make this complex. So the copper two plus ion is going to be surrounded by four ammonia molecules and two water molecules, okay? These are all monodendate uh, ligands. And this complex is going to have a deep blue color, okay? So you need to be able to distinguish between a uh, just a blue or a pale blue complex ion or a deep blue complex ion, okay? So this one over here is a deep blue complex ion, okay? You have to memorize the colors. Um, so if you add to this complex, um, our hexadendate ligand, which is ENTA. So this was also in topic one. I have briefly uh, included the image of how this looks like, but obviously you don't have to know the whole structure. Um, yeah, so you're going to get a uh, complex ion that looks like this, Cu ETA 2 plus. And obviously it's basic ETA because it's a hexadendate ligand with just one molecule, it's going to form six covalent, um, dative covalent bonds meaning that the ammonia molecule and the water molecules are, uh, are they're going to be all removed, okay? So what I want to discuss in th with this reaction, um, 
So that's the hexavalent ligand. On the reactant side, there are two molecules, right? The eta molecule and the uh, deep blue color uh, complex of the copper ion. And on the product side, there are seven molecules. So we have our complex, four molecules of ammonia, two, wa uh, two water molecules if you com um, combine all that, that's seven molecules, right? So, um, therefore, as the reaction proceeds, because we have more molecules, uh, entropy is going to increase, okay? Because entropy is the uh, measure of disorder of a system, or also known as um, how to arrange all the, the different ways in arranging all the molecules inside a system, okay? And because we have, obviously, more molecules, we have more ways to arrange them in a different way, right? So the entropy is going to be increasing, um, which means that this complex ion over here with the eta uh, has a higher stability, okay? So this reaction will go to completion. Okay, so that was a very short video, but um, still useful. And I will see you in the next video in part four.